marker come close to the cable. The cable will go straight up and down. That's how you know you're doing it right. Her elbows will stay in one position. It does not matter where she put her elbows, it matters if they stay in the position. I'm also going to have her grab higher up on the rope. This makes sure her grip is uh, very tight and she's strong through her joints. Okay? Let's go. We're going to do a set of 10 and this is with 20 pounds. She's immediately going to walk over to the other and curl it 10 times. Let's go. Three, four, go slow. Five, six, give them a straight arm. Seven, beautiful. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, done. Set of table, tricep, push down. She's grabbing on the rope because it makes her strong through her joints. Her elbows are not moving, this is perfect. She's flexing her tricep. A little slower on the top, stop right there. You want to stop just above 90 so you're not cheating. Beautiful. The more slow you go, the more it burns. Go ahead and finish at 10. Good job. The less she moves everything, the more it burns. That it? Beautiful. Now waste no time. Walk right over the throw. Pick it up and get going. This is 20 pounds each one. Two. See that? That's basically straight up and down. That means she's doing it perfectly. She needed the leverage. Take a step in, just a tiny one. Go ahead and straight up and down. Arnold says keep a straight line, even with women. Good job. Devil, they don't move. Perfect. Right, this is the perfect way. Struggling against 10. Up, up. Beautiful. Okay, now that's a quick set. Well, she's able to do 20 reps, pumping the bicep and the tricep at the same time. Moving on into set three. Now this is a little bit on an angle, so I'm going to have her take a step forward. Another one. Go ahead. Two. It makes it much harder because of the leverage. Three. Good strong grip. Alright, beautiful. Elbow's not moving. Ten. Eleven. Well, ooh, she's going for more. Alright, good girl. Wouldn't want one arm down, one arm to the arm to make sure. Make sure you have an even grip. strip set. We're getting a little advanced right now, but what happened is, is she set out with a number of 10 to 12 to hit. She got to 9 and had to break form in order to hit that number. Unacceptable. We don't break form. Drop the weight. That's why it's a theory. It's called a strip set. Just drop your weight and immediately keep going. This is not called a rest. This is not a 15 seconds get set up again. No, this is, I'm in a hurry. Switch out the rate and get right back after it. The tendency is always to step away from the weight because it's easier to bring it down on an angle. You'll find yourself stepping in and then immediately your body will want you to step back out. Don't. Fight it. Fight that leverage. Keep that elbow right here. Straight up and down. Okay. 
This should be getting harder. This is her fourth set. Four double the ups. Good job. with 20 pounds, except for the last three, we had to drop set her. So we're gonna go ahead and start her off on that same way and ask her to get 12. And just to burn her up, we'll have her come halfway up. Just seen four supersets: tricep pushdowns with the cable and bicep curls with the cable. About a two or three second, maybe five tops transition in between the two. You've seen a rest of about 30 seconds, and then she had to do it again. 